Rockford, North Dakota, 100 years old today. We wish her a very happy birthday. It's 8.09, and here's Chuck. Thank you, Willard. Many cities across the United States have to deal with a new and disturbing problem. People who decide for one reason or another they no longer want their pets are getting rid of them in a very inhumane way. In another of his Fight Back reports, David Horowitz has found a positive side to that story. And good morning to you all. It's hard to believe that some people are either too busy or too insensitive to find a proper home for their unwanted pets. So they take the easy way out and abandon them. I have personally seen people opening their car doors on highways and throwing their animals out onto the pavement. Other people, fortunately, are not as brutal. Leo Grillo hunts dogs. He came to California to become an actor, but spends most of his time looking and caring for the hundreds of dogs left abandoned by their former owners. I've been doing this for about four years now. I came out here and found 35 dogs uh, at, at that first count, and I fell in love with them. I started feeding them. I watched them jump into the food with their elbows and protect it and eat it, looked into their faces, and they were, to me, the same as my own pet. The reason people abandon their animals in the first place, uh, usually they're moving and can't take the dog or the cat with them. And as opposed to bringing them to the shelter where they know they'll probably, you know, 85% chance they'll end up being put, put to sleep, uh, they come out here and they let them go. During the week after they've abandoned the animal, the animal slowly starves and they get very depressed. They don't know where anything is, what happened. And that's a lot of stress. Add the bad weather to that, add the disease, and within a few weeks you have uh, an animal dying very, very cruelly, very slowly. And we've had them out here in convulsions, very painful death from encephalitis, from distemper. And they go right out, crawl away and die very painfully, takes them a whole day. And if people saw this, you know, I'm sure they wouldn't, they wouldn't abandon. While we were taping this story, a little dog suddenly came out of the brush, saw us and ran back in. We swung the camera around while Leo took off to try and find it. This is very frustrating because she's so tiny. She's a little Pomeranian mix, a little lap dog. And what probably happened is it typically goes, the grandmother passed away and gave, uh, uh, left the dog in the family and somebody took her and decided they didn't want the little bugger and they put her out here. Of course, you could tell she's not gonna make it. I mean, this is, the brush is taller than she could ever be. And a lot of coyotes in here. If we don't see her today, I don't think we ever will see her again. Leo never did find the dog that day, but he refused to give up hope. About two years ago, I formed Delta, Dedication Everlasting Love to Animals, which is a nonprofit organization. Uh, we were getting contributions to help feed the animals, and uh, now, of course, uh, we have our own uh, kennel we're uh, uh, in the process of buying. We're trying to raise the money for that. In the last four years, we've found and placed over 800 dogs and probably about 300 cats. We followed Leo to another campsite where two dogs he had been feeding for several months recognized his car. Up to now, he has not been able to get either of them to come close enough for him to catch. But on this day, he finally got one of them. This is a happy ending after all. We've been after this dog for four or five months. We finally got her today while you guys were here. Um, I'm going to take her now and we're going to uh, put her in our kennel and uh, find her a home eventually. Now we'll be able to really tame her down. In about another month, she'll go into somebody's home. You'll never know anything was any different. Okay. Beautiful dog. I feel that Leo Grillo's program is something that should be done all over the country. If you would like some more information on it, including his guidelines for finding a home for unwanted animals, send a business-size, self-addressed, stamped envelope to me, David Horowitz, The Today Show, Burbank, California, 91523. And I'll make sure that you get that in the return mail. And now back to all of you in New York. Thank you, David. Up next on After 8, a look at how the Pennsylvania primary changes the game. But first, this is Today on NBC.